Recycling has become commonplace in many parts of the world. Even though this practice is beneficial, because it conserves resources and reduces the amount of material that is discarded, it is not the best possible waste management option. The reason for this is that while recycling is much more efficient than producing raw materials from virgin stock, it requires a substantial collection and processing infrastructure and still consumes resources and generates pollution. The most effective waste management options are therefore those that avoid or reduce the generation of waste at the source. These options not only minimise the amount of material that must be recycled or discarded, but also offer significant financial savings by reducing the amount spent on goods and supplies. Most of the responsibility for reducing waste generation lies with those who make the purchasing decisions. They should therefore carefully gauge the impact of their choices on waste generation and costs. As a general rule, preference should be given to products with less packaging, durable products that aren't discarded after a single use, and products that generate less waste over their service life. Restaurants, bars and other such outlets offer great opportunities to minimise waste generation and lower operating costs. Some of these measures include avoiding the use of food items such as condiments in single-serving packages. Products purchased in bulk and served in refillable dispensers are less expensive and generate less waste. Choosing beverages that are packaged in returnable bottles, jugs or kegs. The beverages that are not available in returnable containers should ideally be purchased in bag-in-box format. Choosing vendors who use returnable pallets and supply their products in returnable crates and containers. Purchasing concentrated cleaning chemicals that can be diluted on site before use. Avoiding the use of single-use items such as disposable plates, cups and cutlery. In areas where durable tableware cannot be used, choose disposable items designed to generate the least waste and items whose production and disposal have a smaller negative impact on the environment. For example, cups and napkins made of unbleached paper or tableware and cutlery made from biodegradable materials. Offices can also produce a lot of waste. Actions to reduce this include using printers and copiers that produce two-sided prints and toner cartridges that can be refilled and reused. Collecting paper printed on one side only and reusing it to print draft documents or a scrap paper. Increasing the life of printer cartridges by minimising background shading and colouring. using rechargeable rather than disposable batteries, using durable coffee mugs and drinking cups, avoiding the use of rubbish bins fitted with disposable plastic liners in areas that generate mainly dry wastes, cutting down on paper consumption and waste by communicating with staff via email and intranet and having employees fill out forms online rather than on paper. This reduces waste in the amount of labour needed to process the information. A comprehensive waste minimisation programme can in many cases reduce by 50 to 75% the amount of waste generated by a business.